you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, let's go ahead and get right into it. First and foremost, come to webjack.org and download the application. Next, drop webjack into your documents folder. Make sure OneDrive is not managing or has access to this area. Turn on Rabjack and we can proceed to the next step. For downloading any mod list, you need to come to the top right and manage your settings. Log into your Nexus Mods account. Now we can browse any of the games and pick any list we see. For example purposes, I will be downloading Winning Chapter 4 for Skyrim Special Edition. Once you have pressed the download button, wait a little until it turns into a play button. Click it and let's set up our folders. Once again, we will be making a folder just for the list within documents. Name this something unique or the name of the mod list. Now we can come back and link Wabajack to these folders. Once you have done that, we can press the start button and begin downloading. While this is happening, it is important to check the GitHub or homepage for each and every list you use. Every list is different and may, may require you to download something from a separate site and then drop it into your download section. Let's simulate an example. For this, I will be using a Creation Club mod. Simply find the files, Wabjack, or the authors wish you to procure and drag it into your download section. Very easy. This could be a zip file or if specified the actual BSA and ESP. If you run across an error like unable to download, you can use this method and manually download it yourself. There will commonly be files like that within many mod lists. Please read the README and home pages for your chosen list. Now that you have downloaded your list, let's get into the mod organizer. Now that you are inside MO2, briefly go over the mod list. There may be sections in which you have to manually enable. For example, Wondernick and many other lists have multiple EMB options for you to choose from. Be sure to go over the GitHub or installation instructions for the list you install. Let's go over some optimization. First and foremost, go ahead and exclude the entire mod list folder and optionally its applications from your antivirus. For Windows Defender, this is very easy. Open Windows Defender, go to Virus and Threat Protections, select Manage Settings, scroll down and hit Exclusions, and then add the whole mod list folder as an exclusion. Let's go over page files. Hit the Windows and R key on your keyboard. Type the following into the prompt. The copy paste is in the description below. Click settings in the performance tab. Go to advanced and change the virtual memory of the drive you are playing your game on. Change the minimum and maximum accordingly. Written documentation will be in the description below. Apply these changes and restart your computer. From this point on, you can start your game. However, we will go over some extra methods to improve performance. Let's go over Cathedral Asset Optimizer. We will be modifying our list textures to improve performance via mipmaps and downscaling. The easiest one is mipmaps. Simply copy my settings on screen, open the directory, and link it to your mods folder or the mods that you wish to add mipmaps to. Press run and wait. This will take some time, so go touch some grass. Next is downscaling. You can use this on your Dynalot outputs or any mods that don't provide textures below 2K. Simply copy my settings for 1K and select the mods you want to downscale. You can downscale your whole mod list or individual mod. A common alternative is VRAMer. For this, we will need to download the program from the mod page and insert it into our load order. Then you can create a mod for its output. Add VRAMer to your list of programs as shown on screen. Start VRAMer and make sure it's tied to your load order. If it's not, you can add an argument to the application like I did and it should detect. Next, follow the prompts and choose your desired quality levels. For this video, we will be doing layered extraction. In order to do this, Simply find your Mod Organizer 2 profile. For Wabajax, it's going to be in your Wabajax folder, and then somewhere around there, you're going to see profile just like mine's on screen. Select the profile you're using and confirm. The process will take quite a bit of time. This is your opportunity to get up and do something else. Once you have your output, you can make an empty mod and throw it into MO2. Make sure to keep it at the bottom of the list so it overwrites. If any texture bugs occur, you can disable the output or find the messed up textures. Alright, peace.